So brush your teeth and floss with me. There's so much to learn and see. So come along and smile with me. It's the Kimmy to Tutor Show. That's me. Hi, it's Kimmy the Tooth Tutor, and I'm here today with Elvis. Hello. And we are just going to review something really quickly, and then we are going to start an experiment. Or an experiment. So there's a book, Brush, Floss, and Rinse, which I've read before. It's by Amanda Darren Turville, and it's illustrated by Ronnie Rooney. I like its name. Anyway, so I am just going to read this little section, and it says, Kyle and Erin use fluoride rinse after brushing and flossing. They swish it around for one minute. So fluoride keeps your teeth from getting cavities or decaying or the sugar bugs eating holes in your teeth. That helps that to not happen. And there are different kinds of fluoride, but we'll talk about that more later. So we are going to do an experiment. I am going to put an egg, just a regular egg from the store. This glass is empty. We're going to use it tomorrow. This one has soda in it. This one has a fluoride mouth rinse in it. And this one has vinegar. So I'm just, they're just raw eggs. So hopefully I won't break them. There we go. One egg in. One egg in the soda. One egg in the fluoride mouth rinse. And one egg in the vinegar. Tomorrow we're going to add another egg, but not right now. So I will catch you up later tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Bye. Hi, I'm Kimmy the Tooth Tutor, and I'm here today with my friend Elvis. Hello. And our friend Robin. Hey, Kim. Nice to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Good to have you here. She is also a tooth tutor. Yes. We so, have a fun experiment to do today, don't we? Mm hmm So I have one egg in vinegar, one egg in fluoride mouthwash, and one egg in soda. I and can't wait to see how this works. Yes. We also have another egg that hasn't had anything done to it yet. So we wanted to talk about fluoride today. Yeah, and its effects on teeth and how the benefits of it and where we find our fluoride. So um, maybe that's a good place to start. Sure. Where do you think we get fluoride? Um, I know that we, <laughs> I know that we get it in water. Right, a lot of us have it yeah. in water, especially if we live in a town where right. they fluoridate the water. Um, and also, other water might be fluoridated naturally. Yeah. All over the state, it, it's very, very different. Right. So, if you live in an unfluoridated area, the state of Vermont does do fluoride testing mm -hmm. for your water at no charge if yep. there's a child in the house, which is very nice. Yes, it is. And they are still currently doing that, yep. which is awesome. And I think we find it in toothpaste. That's probably the most common area we get it, and it's really important for kids to brush with a fluoridated toothpaste, and mm -hmm. I think we're going to find out why. Yeah, and then we, we have fluoride mouthwash, and when we go to the dentist, we also have fluoride varnish that we can paint on your teeth. Yep, yeah, one more way to get fluoride. Mm -hmm. And then there's also fluoride vitamins Right. that sometimes our doctor gives us. If we've had our water tested. If we've had our water tested. And the fluoride is for two different things. Right. The fluoride in water and in um, vitamins is for our, our teeth that are developing. Right, we call it systemic fluoride. Mm-hmm. And then the fluoride in mouthwash and toothpaste and the fluoride varnish. is a topical application. It only helps the teeth that are in our mouth at right. a time. Yep. So yeah, it's been around a long time. I think it's been around since the 60s. It has been. There's a lot of misinformation about it also. You want to put some gloves on, Robin? Sure. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> I've done similar experiments yeah. with um, different sodas and with pennies and that kind of thing, but Kim thought this egg went up, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Yes, we have no idea what's going to happen, so we're just putting it out there. So, we have these three eggs. This one we're just going to leave, and we're going to check that out when we're done with the rest of this. Ooh, the bubbles are coming out of that one. That's yeah, crazy. that one. I hope you can see all of the bubbles. It almost looks hairy. It does, and it almost looks like it made the egg bigger. I think it may have. Okay, okay. so um, 
I can pour. Do you want to try to carefully get them out? Sure. I'll, I'll work on the one with soda first. Okay. And so we're going to put them into vinegar because <clears throat> when we Ooh, eat, and the soda stains our teeth too, yes, doesn't it? Yes, it does. When we eat or drink, should I do that? No, oh, here you can put it in there. So we eat or drink sugary things. <clears throat> I think I know what's going to happen. I mean, you know what I hope happens? <laughs> when we eat or drink sugary things, that sugar turns into acid in our mouth, right? right. So our, our bacteria, our plaque sugar bugs, eat that sugar up and release acid on our teeth. That's right, your byproduct is acid. And it's not just really things that we think of as being sweet always, is it? Right. It can be um, something as simple as crackers, right? right. Like a s simple carb like that that mm -hmm. breaks down into sugar. Oh, I can smell that. It smells Min good. Minty fluoride. Still a nice white egg. I think we'll use this one. Okay, so this is the fluoride egg and this is the soda egg. And then we're gonna have one more egg. We are gonna paint this egg with fluoride. I can do that. Can you do that? Do you want me to hold it? I'll hold the egg. Sure. Just like when you come to the dentist, this is how we paint it. It's, it's the simplest thing. It's just a little paintbrush, and it has a it's called varnish, fluoride varnish. It's just like a paste, and you just paint it on your teeth. Should I try to skip some places to see what happens? Sure. Where it doesn't hold fluoride. Sure. You get this top on. We'll just leave that. Um, so so the vinegar is is acting like it's the sugar bugs in our mouth. Right, right? like acidity. Yep. That that the bacteria plaque or sugar bugs releases on your teeth when you eat something that is sugar. And um the egg, do you know what the egg represents, Robin? Yes, I think. The mm -hmm. shell of the egg represents the enamel, the hard outer part of our teeth, right. where the cavities start. Okay, yeah. I think that's okay. good. I think that is good. All right, so we have this mostly painted. Should we wait a few seconds, maybe? Maybe, let it penetrate. Here, you want to hold that? Sure. In the meantime, I'm going to take... Doing what it's supposed to do. Yay! <laughs> so in the meantime, I'm going to take this egg out. So they were all raw, regular eggs from the grocery store. Oh, can I feel? Yeah. <sighs> it's squishy. Oh, weird. So weird. It feels like a bouncy ball. There is no more shell. There's only shell right here on the egg. The vinegar has completely eaten the shell off this egg. Isn't that cool? Yes, and it does the same to our teeth, too, and right. I know that firsthand I've had some patients that were actually drinking vinegar, you know, and it's oh, for your digestive yes. system, and it was really causing erosion on their teeth. Oh, apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. So things that may be good for the rest of our body. Right. And another example would be like citrus, like yeah. oranges. They're good for the rest of our body, but they're not so good for our teeth. Right. They are acidic, and they're also high in sugar. Right. So two things that are not ideal for our teeth. Okay. Let's drop that, that egg in there. Okay, fluoride varnish. Do your thing. Okay. So we see what happens if it's just in vinegar. So that is if you have sugar bugs on your teeth or bacteria or plaque on your teeth because you don't do a good job brushing. And then you eat stuff that's sugary and you don't brush your teeth. Yep. That's what happens. Breaks down that enamel. If you can see the fluoride egg, it just looks perfectly clear and unreactive. It's unreactive. Not, That's it's not doing word. anything. Well protected. The fluoride is protecting it. This egg, can you see all of the bubbles? That it, one looks hairy too. It does. Stained and hairy. Stained and hairy. So. And that's the soda one. And that's because the soda etched the yep. eggshell kind of etched the enamel and made it more porous for the vinegar to penetrate. Yep. And it also made, yeah, that while, quickly. while it's doing that, yeah, that quickly it did that. And while it's doing that, it also stained it and it makes it brittle. So it makes it like easier to break. Then this egg. Hmm. Well, maybe it hasn't. Oh, wow. it is doing it. It actually looks really cool. It does. I'm glad it. we only did part of it. 
He yeah. took part of it. So, I don't know if you can see this, but you can see where Robin painted the fluoride varnish and where she didn't. Isn't that cool? That's very cool. Very nice. So just for funsies, I'm going to leave these in here tonight, and then I'll check back in with them tomorrow. Wonderful. Is there anything else you want to share with no, our I friends? Think we touched on diet a little bit. Mm -hmm. What's the best thing you could ever eat or drink? Water. Water. Water <laughs> is awesome. The other thing, can I just mention one yeah. more thing, Kim, yeah. while it comes to mind? I think um, another thing that tends to have a lot of sugar that parents especially are fooled by, because the whole dairy aisle is full now of yogurts oh, yeah. that are so intriguing to kids, but you really have to check. The yeah, labels. a lot of yogurts are super high in sugar. Right. Yeah. So those are good to avoid, too. Yeah. Well, you can have them. Just brush your teeth before or after them mm -hmm. and only have them in a small, isolated period of time. Don't like snap, snap on, it. on it. Right. Well, thank you all for joining us. Thanks. That was fun, Kim. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Hi, it's Kimmy. I'm so glad that our friend Robin was able to join us earlier. I wanted to show you what's come of everything. So we had our egg that was just in vinegar and that one is very squishy. I will show you at the end. The egg that is in was soaked in the, uh, the fluoride. is still as solid as can be, completely intact. So it was able to stay in the vinegar and not um, suffer the effects of it. This one is so nasty. <laughs> this is the egg that was in soda. So it is not super hard. It is very slimy and the vinegar is eating away at the shell. It's super yucky. And then the last egg that was, we painted, Robin painted fluoride varnish on this egg. It is completely sound. Everywhere the varnish was, the fluoride was, is perfectly intact and great. So that is a great outcome of the experiment. I hope you enjoyed this little project about fluoride and we hope you can join us again next time. Bye!